Hey everybody, it's me again, John Day, the Director of Development here at Darewise Entertainment, and I just want to talk to you for a minute about some of the changes we're introducing into Life Beyond. So the game is, has, and will be about gear. You as a player are going to build, engineer, modify, and go on these adventures with all kinds of different interesting gadgets and tools. But what we're doing now, because we think it's a little more concrete and understandable, rather than giving players unlimited gear choice to kind of assemble the play style they want, we're focusing our gear choices into these loadouts that really suggest a specific role within your group and a specific, a more specific play style. So we've uh, designed four loadouts that players can choose. And remember, you can always change your loadout between missions. Your character and your loadout are independent from each other. So you can change your mind whenever you want. But we have these four loadouts. The first is the tank, which does exactly what you think it's going to do. This is the guy in the group who's going to make sure that nobody else gets hurt. He controls a small area around him. He's a short range character. If you are within that range, you will be in trouble because he will be able to bring a lot of uh, pain and inconvenience and really just control that space and command the attention of characters around him. As you can see in the artwork, he's got these big gloves and he can use these to create all kinds of interesting effects. Secondly, we have the surgeon, which is also sort of what you would expect. This is the character who keeps everybody healthy and up and running so they can get through the mission safely. He's got the ability to heal other players, but we don't want anybody to have a role that is so specific to one job that they don't get to do anything else. So while he is definitely capable of healing and keeping everybody okay. The surgeon also has the laser scalpel and can bring some extra damage when you need it. Thirdly, we have what is my personal favorite is the logistics guy. We'll put a better name later. This is the guy whose job it is to make sure that everybody gets from point A to point B safely and quickly. He's also really good at extracting resources and he also brings with him some tools that help magnify the effects of other players and their tools. So he's really a multiplier of effect on the rest of the group. And like any of the others, he also has some interesting weapons that he can use in the level. And then lastly, we have the Storm Chaser. Now, the Storm Chaser is your area of effect, big damage character. This is who you want to be if you want to sit back and just kind of blast stuff. And again, you'll always do much better effects and damage if you're coordinating with the rest of your team. But this is really kind of your, your hang back, and hopefully the rest of the team keeps bad guys off of me because I'm going to need the space to operate. And with these four character loadouts, we think we can get some really good uh, cooperative moments, give players a sense of purpose that's unique to them when they're in a mission, generally just give an improved feel to the game. So we appreciate you watching. We're continuing to experiment and change the game all the time. Um, you can always find us on our Discord server. We're happy to talk to you every day. And we also stream our developer play tests every Friday at 5 p.m. Central European time. So we hope to see you there. Uh, and otherwise, you'll hear from us again very, very soon. All right. Thanks, you guys. Bye.